Hello and welcome to Vector Tut's screencast. My name is Daoud Fried. Today I'm here to demystify the command and explain what effect the expand appearance command has on your illustrations. First, create a new document. Next, select a shape to draw. I'm going to use the rectangle tool, which you can activate with the shortcut key M. Click anywhere on the canvas, and when the rectangle options dialog pops up, accept the defaults by clicking OK. Next, Replace the fill with a color by double-clicking the fill icon on the tools panel. Any color will do. Just stay away from white, black, or grays right now so you can better see what I'll be explaining. I'm going to choose a red. Now, activate the stroke icon by pressing the shortcut key X. Then, remove the stroke by pressing the shortcut key backwards slash. Now, you should have a filled square or rectangle on your screen. Press Ctrl Y on a PC, Command Y on a Mac to switch to Outline View. In Outline View, you see only the path of your illustration, nothing else. Press Ctrl Y, Command Y on a Mac to switch back to Preview View. Now, press Shift F6 to bring up the Appearance panel. You see that it lists all the appearance attributes of your object. Right now, you have only a colored fill and no stroke. Now for the fun part. We're going to add an effect to our object. Click on the FX menu on the bottom of the Appearance panel and scroll to Warp and choose Flag. Click on Preview so you can see the effect before committing to it. Then click OK. If you look at your appearance panel, you will see a new item there. You know it's warp flag by the name listed and that it is an effect because it has the FX icon to the right of the name. Now press Ctrl Y, Command Y on a Mac and you'll notice something interesting. The outline view doesn't show the warp effect applied to our object. It only shows the path of the object. It doesn't show any effects. Now press Ctrl Y, Command Y on Mac to switch back to Preview View. Next, select Expand Appearance from the Object menu. If you look at the Appearance panel, you'll see the Warp Flag effect is gone. Our object looks the same, but the bounding box is bigger. What gives? Press Ctrl Y, Command Y on a Mac, and you'll see the answer. The effect didn't disappear. It has been expanded into the path. In essence, you have created a new shape. Therefore, the bounding box also expands to surround this new shape. This can be a good way to create complex objects that you may have trouble doing with the pen tool. I hope this quick tip video has enlightened you on the why of using the expand appearance command in Adobe Illustrator.